Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to do outlier treatment in the R programming language. So here we are in the R studio. So let us create some data using random sampling with replacement from number 1 to 20. And that can be done by sample. So the sample has the parameters x which is a vector the size that how many samples that we need to draw replaces false by default that is sampling is drawn drawn without replacement if nothing is mentioned over here and what is probability we are going to discuss it sometime later so let us set x equals to 1 to 100 the size is equal to 40 so draw 40 random samples between let's make it 1 to 20 instead between 1 to 20 and replace equals to true so that will do uh, for that that will that will generate 40 random samples between 1 and 20 without uh, with replacement now along with this let me add two more values far off from this 1 to 20 let's let one value be 65 and the other values be value be 80 so our data set has been created let us run this and let us look at this data set so here we are and we can find the summary of the data so here's the summary the first quarter is 6.25 the third quarter is 17.75 the median is 11.50 and the mean is 13.86 now let us visualize this data using the box plot and see that how the out how and where the outliers are located box plot of the data so he yes yeah, see so we have this distribution the most bulk of the distribution is between 1 and 20 and we have a value right over here which is 65 and we have a value right over here which is 80 far from the rest of the values and therefore they are the outliers so the first thing that we are going to learn is that how to discard the outlier from the data set so discarding the data set now for that let me first create a new data called data 1 and set it to the data that I have just created because I don't want to do any harm to this data so I want to keep this data intact okay now you see the length of the data data 1 and here we go we get the 42 which is of a same length as this data so before discarding the outliers from the data set let us first create a benchmark such that if any of the observation falls above this benchmark we are going to delete it from the data set so let us set the benchmark as this third quartile plus 1.5 times the interquartile range so its third quartile is 17.75 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range of the data let's see our benchmark it's 35 so now if any values falls above 35 if any values present in the data set is greater than 35 we are going to discard that from the data set so before we proceed it's very important to understand the subsetting mechanism of the data so if I if I write data and subset it as let's take the data one instead of the data greater than 35 so it's going to search for all the values in the data set that are greater than this 35 and return the result so there are only two values inside the inside data one that are greater than this 35 and so it returns only those two values similarly if I write data one 
and subset is such that this data 1 is less than 35 so it's going to give me all the values present in the data set data 1 that are less than 35 so now all I'm going to do is that I'm going to set this data 1 such that data 1 is less than this benchmark so what it will do is that it will subset the data it will subset the data 1 according to the benchmark it will take all the values consider all the values in the data 1 that are less than this benchmark and then update this data 1 as this new data set so now here we go now see see the summary of this data sorry summary of this data and see that the maximum is 20 and minimum is 2 so we don't have any 65 or 85 so a better way to see this to plot it again in uh, the plot box plot of this data set again and so here we go you check the length of the data 1 and you can see that it's 40 whereas the original length was 42 so we have managed to discard two observations which are greater than this benchmark and now the box plot shows that this data set contains no outliers so this is a way that we can uh, write a code in our programming language to discard the outliers from the data set in the next two videos, I will be discussing about winsoring and uh, variable transformation. So keep watching. Thank you very much and goodbye.